I started off by getting a pizza pan from Dollar Tree and I am using some Waverly chalk paints in the color ink. Any kind of black chalk paint will do for this step. All I did was just paint the pizza pan entirely. I did end up doing two coats and you wanna just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then go ahead and allow that to completely dry. I then got this trick or treat wooden sign also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some white and orange acrylic paint. You could use any kind of white or orange paint. You could get it from Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever your stores sell acrylic paint. All I'm doing is painting the trick or treat in white. And then with the orange acrylic paint, I'm just gonna paint the pumpkins in that color. I did have to do about two coats per color and then just allow the sign to completely dry. And look at how adorable this came out. So once this was completely dry, I did grab some Jenga blocks. These might still be at your Dollar Tree. I know that they did downsize with them but I am just using some of this adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue. And these actually fit behind some of the letters on the trick or treat sign. So I just added these to add some more thickness to the sign. So it's a lot easier to attach to the pizza pan. So now I'll go ahead and grab the pizza pan, find a good placement for it using that adhesive glue and a mixture of hot glue, place those on the Jenga blocks and then just place the trick or treat sign on the pizza pan and just hold that down until the glue completely dries for about 10 to 15 minutes for that adhesive glue. I then just made this awesome fluffy bow using my Easy Bow Maker. Some of the ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Just placing some of that adhesive glue with a generous amount of hot glue on the back of the bow and then just held that at the top of the pizza pan and held that down for about 10 to 15 minutes as well. And then for a holder, I did just hot glue some nautical rope on the back of the pizza pan. And there you go, guys. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye.